David Taborowski didn't have a good reputation during his 90 Day Fiancé debut. He had issues with drinking and gambling, which was upsetting for fans to know. But thanks to his wife Annie, he turned his life around and has been constantly working on his weight loss to get fit. Well, he has become a fan favorite now, a new comment through his Instagram post about another fellow castmate Big Ed has landed him in trouble again. What did David say about Big Ed that was so offensive? David Taborowski's carefree attitude and wit keeps his fans very impressed. In fact, he and his wife's chemistry on 980 Fiancé Pillow Talk is greatly appreciated too. But things haven't been looking up for the American man lately. That's because one of his comments has landed him in deep waters. A noted page from the reality show 90 Day Fiancé Updates shared a picture of Big Ed and his partner Liz. They were inside a store waiting in queue for his turn. Well, David took to his comments section after he couldn't help himself. He made a joke and left an insensitive comment on the photo. He wrote next in line with a bunch of laughing emojis. While some 90 Day Fiancé fans had a laugh at this, others took offense. Most people don't know that Big Ed suffers from Clipple Fatal Syndrome. This has affected his height and stature. So some took to the comment section to say that it was very insensitive of him to be making such a comment over someone's disability. A troll began mocking David for the lows in his life. They called him out for being short, bald and fat. The hateful comment also stated that he traveled to Thailand for sex and skipped out on his kids. Well, David tried to defend himself by calling the critic ill informed and hateful. He then defended his comment on Big Ed by saying that he intended no malice and was trying to be humorous. Big Ed is by far one of the most popular 90 Day Fiancé stars. It happened when he debuted on Before the 90 Days, and a segment with him and his ex Rose Vega became a meme. Apart from this, viewers have observed that the San Diego native's neck is shorter than usual. This affects his overall height too, as he is merely 4 feet 11 inches. Well, the TV celebrity had opened up about the same on the show and admitted to having Clipple Fail Syndrome. As per Madline Plus, when one is born with Clipple Fail Syndrome, two or more vertebrates on their necks are joined together in an abnormal manner. Because of this, there is limited motion in one's neck, and the hairline gets affected too as it is lower than usual. Statistics suggest that most people affected by this syndrome have at least two of these characteristics, but less than half the people with Clipple Fail have all three traits. That's it for now, folks. Thanks for watching. Your subscription is very important to this channel. Please do not hesitate to do this.